In earlier videos, I do explain how to view your scores and rubrics for assignments, but I want to go ahead and offer you a second way to do it. Here, you can click on the Learning Modules link and go to the earlier module or to the current module to click on an assignment to see your scores. For example, this sample student received a score of 124.5 out of 135. By clicking on this little box here, the rubrics appear, and we're able to see how the student performed. For example, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3, and then yes, the avatar is present. So those numbers, 4 and 3, while they're not written here, these scores translate, or these columns translate to scores between 0 and 6. So when you do discuss your rubrics, be sure to talk about them in terms of those whole numbers, those integers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These whole numbers here, these percentages, these are not, in effect, uh, rubric scores. These are just weighted values out of 100% or the total points of 135. So these numbers are um, irrelevant for our purposes. You, when you discuss your grade, need to discuss how your scores translate from a 4 to a 3 to a 2 to a 1, where you're trying to build up from. So if you got a 2 for your thesis, how did your essay improve from a 2 to a 4 score? Remember that you need to discuss these in terms of the rubric scores, not for these numbers that are all above um, six, for example.